Okay, for the viewer, he wanted to see the M18 go at it. The M18 is a little saw, so um, there's a the battery. It's the problem with it's they're always loose. All this stuff by Milwaukee, and I have the the uh, weed trimmer, and it's, it shakes. It gives me feedback down that handle now after only one year of use. Um, but one year of total use, and uh, these don't do anything for that. Now, so what did I do here? I got this little guy here, and I, well, because I cut an opening in the wall because I feed, I feed foxes, right, in my backyard. They eat well. They love butter, it turns out. Pound of butter, hot dogs, and I, I greased, I greased, I buttered the hot dogs up for them. Even did it on the, uh, on the chicken. I had to break up the chicken because... They, you may think they're strong, but the foxes, they can't carry a whole chicken that far. And they drop it, and they try to take it apart, and they, it's just too much work for them. And so I punched a hole through here so they can go through the wall, uh, through the wall system. I'm putting brick on top right now. I could care less. So I might, um, it's all used brick I'm using um, off those job sites you guys see. So there's a stack of them over there. And then... Uh, this was just freehand cornered. Didn't even use a level on it. Now I'm using a string let line on it. And it's pretty good. It's pretty close. Now it's got a string line. I did a video on making these blocks, these wood blocks. Um, uh oh. I don't have them handy. Oh, there they are. I remember now. So, did a video on making these wood blocks out of two by fours, cut them in half, and you make them save yourself seven bucks. That's a whole other video for you. Um, you might better figure it out already. Let's go ahead and put this head to head with uh, that diamond blade, which is my Patriot Diamond Blade company that I really, really support them because of their quality. Where's the magnet for them? Huh. So I've got blades everywhere that I'm trying out. I'm a blade freak. There's an 18. There's an 18 inch video. There's a. At this one. This is the one I'm going to show you. This. Uh, but well, I did a video on them already. Patriot Diamond. Cut through there like butter. Here the other blades have gone through. And now they're going to get used for, for um, um, early entry into concrete. Uh, to cut into the concrete without kicking up the aggregate as much. Except for, look, that's got three teeth in it. <laughs> I'm curious how that will cut. And I'm going to find out. This, of course, has, uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out. So the uh, think about it, this has to rotate. The RPMs um, are here, but this is a 14-inch blade, so it's got a longer radius. So it doesn't, it's not cutting as much as fast as this nine nine inch has got a shorter radius, and so she's spinning. She'll get a lot more cuts at the same spot than this would at the same amount of time. Let me put it that way. Let me see if I got that right. I got that right. That's the way it works out. Ten, say ten seconds. This one would go. Would this one blade rotate maybe, let's say, eighty times, and then ten seconds of that would rotate a nine-inch blade. You would have to do with the. Uh, oh, I um, I grab a uh, a uh, spindle app for spindles, um, and matching up pulleys, and that will tell you the rotation. What I'm trying to get to you at. And this might rotate, you know, that maybe that was 80. This might be 100 times it's hitting. So there is a difference and an advantage to using a smaller blade and a bigger blade. This will be cooler now because it's not going to strike as much. It's going to get hotter because it's striking a lot more. Let's get on with the content. Yeah, All right, I'm, reco I'm recording now. Oh, yeah, you can get the clothes. Oh, here, look. Yeah, you can grab it. So I'm going to wear this. So it's going to be hard for me to narrate. I'm going to wear uh, my respirator and... Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to crack chase that wall again. Great, camera picked that up. I'm going to crack chase that joint again after breaking in there for the, oh, I guess I didn't finish that. I made a, punched a hole in there for the fox. I'd like to tell you that that crack was created after I punched a hole in for the fox. But no, it's a, it's a cold joint that I uh, created in the, in the foundation. And that's the, that's the ultimate result of that. I would try to overlap the, the wall to the right with the wall to the left finger joining it if you will and um it failed it, it that, that's that's uh that 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 sucked um 
Uh, it was always designed to fail. Let's look through. It was always designed. See how you can see through the other side? Now, I only cut. Let me see if I can get that angle of incidence again. Right about there. You can see grass. The green on the other side. I only did the, uh, the, uh, spread. This always had a joint on it. And I only did the face. And it was staggered like that. And it just revealed itself. As you can see, I only cut partially through. And it, you can see it exposed all the way through. Right there. Um, that was my joint. My control joint. Yeah. Fox is coming. Huh? Fox is coming. Okay, guys, I gotta start the video another time because my fox is waiting to eat. There he is. Let me see if I can focus a little better for you. He's just sitting on his front lawn there, waiting for me to get away from my my job site. I wanted to do some brick. Oh, he's coming to eat. Okay, he's coming to eat. Come on, go. Go over there. We're gonna look. Come over here some more. Come over this way some more. So that would represent one person, not two. So look, guys. Oh, I'm selling that lawnmower. Those are my used bricks. Brick bar in the background. I'm waiting for the fox to come through that hole I just made for him I told you about. He might have saw me when I start running, though. If he did, he'll go all the way around. I'm trying to find a way around to come back over here to that feeding place. We'll just wait. I scared him off. It's okay, buddy. Come on. Come on. Ah, I scared him off. He did come through. And I scared him back off. Well, while I'm here, I'm just talking in a low voice because he's, he's over there somewhere. While I'm here, there's one of the line blocks I made. And right here puts it on target again. Bend over some, uh, this is joint compound paper. Pin it down. Now they sell fancy metal clips you do this with. Of course you can make some metal clip yourself, but paper is the old school way of doing it. And you can get paper anywhere you want, right? And you don't have to worry about them being lost or dropping down the wall, who cares? Okay, because of the fox, I'm gonna keep this video short. I'm just gonna run this, uh, this metal uh, we're going to use the big boy first, and you're going to see how this cuts. Okay, right, Kevin? Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to cut this in triangle. It was unfair to the blade test because it cuts better than that, but because I'm at the end, it was flexing. But you can see it cut it. Now I'm going to grab the little guy. Now I'm going to grab the little guy and we'll try the same thing this time. We'll try this side. Okay. Give me a light. You see that? A light telling me I'm overworking it. And it's just burning it. It's not really going anywhere. Let's grab the other big boy. And I'm going to go in the middle. So it already has a little lot less, lot less flex. Let's try that. Um, hopefully it will flex less. Ready? <laughs> Right 
right through it, as you can see. And that's rubber. And we know that's going to be much tougher than asphalt. Let's take this over to the asphalt real quick. Let me pause it real quick. Hold on. Let me pause and show them asphalt and concrete.